I'm Terry Moore, uh, Strangers in Paradise, comic book series. Look, pencil, paper, I'm gonna draw a shoot. Usually, the art teacher says, you know, draw a circle and then work your way in. I don't always do that. Sometimes I just start on the eye, but, and then work my way out, which is exactly what the art teacher doesn't want you to do. So I've been failing at art my whole career. But I know Kachu's face really well. You know how when you play video games or something and you um, make your own avatar, that's pretty much what cartooning is like. You make an avatar that you like, make them do wild stuff. And when I first started drawing Stranger to Paradise, I was thinking, okay, what does Kachu look like? And there was a show on TV called Married with Children, and it was Christina Applegate. I thought, you know, California girl, that cute little nose, but with a mouth on her. Can't take her home and meet your parents. And I thought, okay, so what does she sound like? And I was listening to a lot of Joan Jett at the time. So she talks like Joan Jett with that <laughs> hoarse voice. Is it weird to know all that? I think you need to if you're going to write a character that's going to be anything close to real to other people. Otherwise, it just... You know how when you take a writing class and they say, uh, you know, you have this kind of character, this kind of character, this, you know, the Joseph Campbell journey stuff, hero journey. I think it's really a good idea to think of them as people too. The most important thing is the proportions on the face. Uh, if I don't, when I was first drawing Kachu, I would sometimes draw the nose too long. And I look at those drawings now and I think, who's that? I don't, I don't recognize who that's supposed to be. Um, sometimes a drawing just gets away from you. And when you're on a deadline, you just keep going and you think, okay, well, I'll do better next time. But I didn't know I was going to have to look at that drawing the rest of my life. I didn't think about that. Okay, see, I just erased something because the mouth isn't quite right. It's, a good, it's an okay mouth. It'll function. She can eat and drink and talk, but it's not Kachu's mouth. So I'm supposed to go home and write the Strangers in Paradise movie script now. Um, we have a terrific director, a friend of mine, Angela Robinson. We're backed, it's all in-house at our agency and our finance group and all that. So I'm feeling good. So because Strangers in Paradise is my, the work of, you know, the work from my heart, you know, I, I guess maybe the book of my life, um, I turned down offers where I was just going to hand it to somebody for 20 bucks. <laughs> That just seemed like not a good idea. And I used to talk to people and they said, oh, that lesbian story. And I said, nope. If you've said that, you didn't read it. And uh, there's so much more to it. And uh, nobody likes labels, right? Um, so now we're going to do the movie. And the, the deal was I have to write the first script just to at least get the story going in the right direction. And uh, because I'm working with friends, with Angela, and, all that. I think it's going to work. Um, Angela's a great writer. She did this movie that came out in November called uh, Professor Marston and the Wonder Women, and she wrote that. So she's really, really good. Um, and I trust her to take my first script. Um, and when I write a script, it's not like it's going to say, you know, cut to black or anything. It's more like an actor's script. It's more like a stage play. It's a lot of dialogue and it's not the shooting script. And Angela will turn it into what she needs it to be. But I, I feel really good about trusting her with my baby. So I've got my basics. Neck. And you notice that I, if this is a drawing class, you notice that I skipped right over all the part where we take the chin line up and then there's an ear back in here somewhere. Heavily pierced, I might add. Pierce, 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 pierce. There's at least four piercings on this one. I think there's five on the other. And then the back of the head. And right here is the crown. 
and she has a cowlick up front that's going like that. And so I see all that in there. I just don't have to draw it every time. I discovered Kachu in 1993, and at the time, everything was bad girl. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of false body images out there. So I wanted Kachu to be the opposite of all that. I didn't want her to have anything to do with it. So she is not built like a comic book woman. Kachu has three tattoos, but none of them are here on the arm, which is, so she's not very fashionable. Sorry. But sometimes I'll draw a tattoo here anyway, like sci-fi.com <laughs> or my favorite uh, comic book shop and the hair okay I have hair envy let's talk about the elephant in the room and I don't draw capes so I draw hair and um, there's hair, long hair on Francine and Kachu just because I think it's beautiful and if if I could grow a crop I would grow them my garden would be wild. So, I live through them with my hair. And we want her to see mountains in the background. And now I think, oh, okay, it's gonna be a snowstorm. So now I'm drawing snowflakes for about the next two hours like this. And I have jazz in my head going And it makes you, you know, go faster and just kind of go on automatic with your machinery. One of my biggest influences was Charles Schultz because he was a world builder. He was, the kids' neighborhood was more fun than my neighborhood. And so I was attracted to his world building. Um, but every time I draw a snowflake, I think of Charles Schultz because he, he drew these weird, not circles, you know, but he drew these weird things as if, as if it was tied to the stump of his hand. Like, you know, they were misshaped like that. So I try to draw snowflakes the same way, these misshapen little things instead of circles. And I always think of peanuts every time I do it. And ironically enough, I did a series called Rachel Rising, which was really dark. And half of it happens in snowstorms. And I was drawing this really gross, scary stuff, apocalyptic stuff, with this little peanuts snowfall. You'll notice that everything has the same line weight. There's no contrast and nothing's popping. Um, I tend to see line and not color. So I, after, after I draw my, make my drawing where everything looks the same line weight and there's no dimension, I go back in with either the inking or the pencil and I add the weight. And this is my next to last chance to fix all those hideous, horrible errors. Some people do this line super, super thick. Uh, there was a time where Adam Hughes was do, going through and doing these lines and they would be like an eighth of an inch thick. That actually comes back from the Illustrator days. I don't do too much of that because then suddenly it stops looking like me. Every time I try it, my wife says, stop it, you're not Jeff Campbell, you're not Adam Hughes, just do your thing. So I work with a softer approach and these thin lines that's kind of it. That's what Kachu looks like. It's worthless till now. I'm Terry Moore, and this is Kachu.